going to testify here. Uh, I'm coming at you today with a video about choke points on how to play the auction house. Choke points are basically points in uh, professions where you are required to get one item in particular to continue leveling up said profession. Uh, this can work with any profession, so um, you know don't don't limit this to only to uh, <coughs> excuse me. Don't limit this only to cooking, but the example we're using today is going to be cooking. This will work with any profession in particular, but what we're looking at um, is with cooking is leveling your professions and then hitting a point where you're required to have one item to continue leveling forward. Using cooking as the example, um, this vendor here provides all of the materials uh, needed to level all the way to 525 and then of course you start your six ways of cooking over there and that's just a whole entire different thing but what we're wanting to highlight is the one material that she doesn't actually provide which is golden carp which can only be attained through fishing or from the auction house um, of course most of the people either a don't have max fishing or b are just too lazy enough to go farm it and they realize that they don't need very many of them so what we're going to be doing is you, you know, taking advantage of that you know um, selling the sell, selling the golden cart to those people that are wanting to you know level level their cooking um, to max level and of course May you know, whatever your uh, you server joy. has posted ha whatever your server has prices posted you know our server right now is having golden cart for about two per item so for a stack it's about forty gold it's not very much uh, as it was at the start of the server but it is still a way to make a nice little coin uh, accordingly because there are people that are going to be too lazy to take advantage of the, uh, the simplicity that this is um, but let me flip over to the web browser and we're gonna, I'm going to show you where to find golden carp in general but um, this can be taken advantage of with any profession in general all you have to do is you know find those choke points and you know with the professions you have or professions you can just do a little research on uh, by going to wildprofessions.com and you can see where to find it it just depends on you know where you're going to spend the effort to find it. Uh, this is just a basic uh, example of one of them that I have you know spent a little bit of effort for. Uh, there are many others, that I'm, but I'm not going to tell you all of them. That's going to be your, your job to you know spend that extra time to find it. But let me switch over to my web browser and we can look at that. All right, and here we are. I've already pulled up the web page for it, and this is Wowhead, mm, typical Wowhead. Um, and this is showing golden carp and where it can be achieved, where it can be gotten, and the best place to get a hold of it. Um, what we're seeing here, of course, uh, fishing it in the Jade Forest has a total of 569 nodes, and then you can look at the statistics for other ones, and you know you can see what's available and what can work. But it looks like uh, the Jade Forest is going to be the best. This is going to be out of pools, so you will take a little bit of extra time to do that, but. What we're trying to, to learn from this, and we're not really, you know, looking at, you know, just ha how these nodes are, um, how these nodes work. What we're, what we're taking out of this is going to be that there are points in leveling a profession that will be choke points, where you have to literally, you either have to go farm this material, this single material, to level up. There's no multiple passageways that you can do to level it, or you can buy it from the auction house and the typical person is going to spend the time to buy it off the auction house and not go out and farm it um, it's just human nature people are lazy um, so this is one of the, uh, the vast examples that are out there this can be achieved with any profession there's choke points in every single profession it's just finding the choke points and then capitalizing on them however appropriately and you can go from there but this is basically, you know, just an example. This might not be as profitable as some of the other ones. Of course, this also depends on your server. There are a lot of people that make only money just from using choke points. Um, it's just knowing what's going to be available for a good choke point and what's going to be, you know, work well for a nice profit. So, simple enough. Another way to play the auction house in the most appropriate manner is by finding these choke points and then posting these bids on the auction house that will work out well. The next thing we're going to go over is um, 
is driving the price up of, of the of the market of an item that you're you know wanting to make a nice profit from this will take a lot of money in already in your pocket so you know maybe take some time get your money in your pocket and then we'll show how to maybe double that uh, you know raise that raise that price up some this can be risky also so be careful with this next video on me explaining how to do this but I'll be going entailing all that in the next video where this could be risky to make the money and it can also be um, very rewarding if it actually works but that's all I have for today guys I hope you uh, will take advantage of this choke point and maybe make some extra money in your pockets I know I've used it um, some I used it a lot more at the beginning of the expansion when golden carp was a lot higher in pricing uh, it was about 16 gold per golden carp so you know it was a lot easier to find it was a lot easier to make a profit from when people needed a few stacks of it to get everything done properly so uh, but whatever thanks guys for watching and you do enjoy the rest of your day